This is the clutch for the full-size 1867 Otto Langen reproduction. Uh, in this very earliest version, Otto decided to use solid bronze covers for the uh, outer, outer jacket of the clutch itself, and they serve two functions. They retain the shoes, and the rollers in the clutch also act as a bearing, centering the uh, outer gear onto the, the inner uh, core of the clutch itself. Just finished machining this thing, and we wanted to do a functional test on it and make sure the rollers and the ramps and everything engaged to where they're supposed to. And it seems that everything's okay, so this isn't quite the same thing as when it's mounted in a, and it's a vertical position on the shaft, but at least here you can you can see the, uh, the functionality of the um, tapered shoes and rollers grabbing the center core as you spin it back and forth. And as the clutch gear moves clockwise, the rollers and wedges get squeezed into a uh, smaller space, and the leather uh, covered shoe grabs the core of the clutch and, and turns the, the inside of the, of the clutch, which is connected to the main shaft. And that's the magic how the Otto Langen uh, converts the reciprocatory motion of the rack gear to rotary motion on the, uh, the main output shaft. So it seems that the, this has passed the test. We still have to finish bolting it together, making the hardware for it, and putting it on the shaft. But uh, it's encouraging uh, to, to see that the shoes engage the way they're supposed to.